What's up guys? Welcome back to the Goodview Woodworks channel. Today we have something really cool in store for you. We are going to, we're going to use some epoxy that I haven't tried before and we're going to make some awesome little succulent pots. So stay tuned and uh, I hope this new epoxy doesn't succulent. <laughs> All right, sorry about that corny little joke, but you know, sometimes I like a little bit of corn. What about you? To get things started off, we're gonna go ahead and make the forms for these little succulent planters. And what I have here are just a couple pieces of scrap wood that we're gonna make some planters with. And this one, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a circle. So the way I got this, the way I got this circle right here, all I did was I put a spray paint can on here and traced around it. I'll show you. All right, now that we have all of our pieces, we're gonna go ahead and use some packing tape to tape around the edges and make our form. All right, so we got our three little forms made. And if you're going to make a form like this, make sure that you burnish the edges real well. So like rub the edges down so that you know the tape is really sticking to it because epoxy will leak out if you don't have a good enough seal. So now that we have all of our little molds made, I guess we can get to the fun part and start whipping up some epoxy, boy, yeah, yeah. All right, now that we've got our epoxy mixed up, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of this black diamond pure white metallic powder, um, just cause I think it'll look pretty cool. And um, all these materials, I will link down in the description below, right down there in the description, so you guys can go on Amazon and grab these things as well. Now according to the manufacturer's specs on the epoxy, we can only pour a quarter inch at a time because this is countertop epoxy and not casting resin and essentially what we're doing is we're casting this right now. Alright so we got about a quarter inch in each one of these. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the heat gun and get all those bubbles out of there. All right, now that we've heated it up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for a few minutes and then we're gonna go and get the bubbles out again. And we're gonna do this a total of three times. That way we ensure that there ain't no bubbles up in that thing. I'm not sure if you saw what just happened, but I got too close to the tape with the heat gun and it shriveled up a little bit. That's okay. We'll wait for this to cure and we will add some more tape when it's done. Not a big deal. Kind of dumb. 
Not a big deal though. All right, guys, we're back in the shop, and the epoxy has dried, cured. It's nice and hard, and they are looking legit. Too legit to quit. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and take off the tape. We're going to go ahead and take off the tape and start squaring these things up, getting them ready for sanding and finishing. We're almost done with this project. Well, this is taking too long. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it off of there. All right, now that we got one side flat, sorry, this side, now that we got one side flat, I can use that as a reference on the bandsaw and we can go ahead and square this thing up and then get back to sanding. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna use a Forstner bit to drill the hole for the succulent and for the soil and all that stuff. All we have to do after that is hand sand it, spray some clear coat, and we're good to go, boy. We're actually going to go a little bit deeper down into the wood, but after that, that's it. We're going to do all six of those and we should be good to go. All right, last but certainly not least, we're going to go ahead and put some wipe on poly, some clear satin wipe on poly, and we're going to wipe these things down. They already look so awesome after we just finished sanding them down. And I sanded them down to 320 grit.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let those dry. And once they're dry, we are done. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project. I know I did, using some new epoxy, making these awesome little succulent planters. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. Piece of tape on my Hit the subscribe button down below and also ring the bell for notifications anytime I post a new video. I wanted to give a shout out to Incredible Solutions for their epoxy. This is pretty awesome. It's the first time I've used their epoxy, but I'm, I'm really happy with it. It's super durable, super hard, and um, it looks really pretty. It suspends the metallics really well. So guys, if you want some epoxy like this, I'm going to go ahead and link it down in the description. And this is um, really cool because it's a little bit, it's a more affordable epoxy than um, the other stuff that I've used. So if you are tight on cash, you could go this route as well. All the tools and supplies that I use, I will link down in the description below. And if you like this video, leave me a comment. Let me know what I could improve on because I'm always willing to learn as well. And guys, like always, thanks for hanging out with us. These things actually are pretty sweet though. That white pearl looks pretty awesome too. I don't know if you can see how pearly it is, but pretty legit.